Concern is growing, and Jay, you've covered this story over the years with a lot of the scuba diving expeditions you've done about Florida's coral reef and the tract which stretches 358 miles from the Dry Tortugas off Key West to the St. Lucie Inlet in Martin County. Our ecosystem battered by the brutal summer heat that has ocean temperatures rising to a level that's slowly killing coral. It's threatening a billion dollar industry and leaving researchers stunned over what's to come. They are a lifeline for marine life and provide an astonishing view for millions. Coral reefs along Florida's coastline have become a hot topic lately. It seems that some of the most intense heat right now is really concentrated on that Florida reef tract in the Keys. And that's, that's where we have our corals. Uh, it's it's the worst place to have a huge blob of hot water. John Parkinson is a professor at USF and studies coral reef ecosystems. He is most concerned by this. Water temperatures normally seen in late August and September are present now. This is a graphic from our storm team of actual water temperatures today, hovering just below 90 from the Palm Beaches to Key West. The pink shades are the warmest. Corals are going to be at a much higher temperature than they're used to for a longer period, and that extended uh, duration is what really leads to bleaching. Bleaching happens when stressed corals lose their color and become white, according to Parkinson. It's basically a slow suffocation and death. Moat Marine Lab in Key Largo documented evidence earlier this summer of coral bleaching in this June report. And just this week, temperatures in the water off Key Largo were 92 degrees. The ideal temperature for coral, 80 to 84 degrees. They don't want to be exposed to temperatures in the 90s for very long. But the corals in Florida have been hit with these sort of back to back bleaching events every other year or so. They're not having a lot of time to recover. And that could mean trouble for this billion dollar industry. Florida's coral reef track accounts for coastline protection, biodiversity, fishing and tourism. Its impact could drown the crown jewel of the Sunshine State. And the hand that's causing it, Mother Nature, is the only one that can help. And the, the indicators are extreme. This is uh, an outrageous temperature and it's outrageously early. Uh, so if it persists this way, we don't have um, some sort of mitigating factor to come in and lower that temperature. Uh, it could be more catastrophic than previous bleaching events. So 2016 and 17, Michael, on record were terrible years for coral bleaching. Parkinson says we're on track for the worst year ever if things continue, if the temperatures stay the way they are. Corals can recover from bleaching if you give them time, but again, only time will tell right now. You cannot overstate the depth, literally and figuratively, of this problem on our health, ecotourism, food resources, and the like. And water, our lifeblood, literally, and from a business tourism point of view.